Hey everybody, this is Master Gallon Guys here bringing you my review of London Has Fallen. Now, this is the sequel to your other movie, Olympus Has Fallen. Not to be confused with White House Down with Channing Tatum. This one stars Gerard Butler as uh, the Secret Service guy, the head honcho, the cream of the crop, and Aaron Eckhart is President of the United States. And the film starts off with a flashback of two years previous where the United States was hunting this arms dealer who was destabilizing regions and everything. Now, they find that he is in a, one spot, but it's for his daughter's wedding. So they initiate a drone strike, and then at that moment, you think, everybody's dead, it's all right. Uh, of course, you'll find out later through the film, it's not true. So, flashback to today, and... Gerard, Butler char Gerard Butler's character is thinking about resigning from the Secret Service because he's about to have a kid on the way. He's thinking the only way to protect him is to be around pretty much full time, bulletproof the room, have six cameras, which is what it's like. This we only need one. We only need a baby monitor. This stuff's gonna happen. So as he's mulling that over, uh, head of the British government has passed away. So the Western leaders of the world have to scramble together and be like, okay, we have to pay our respects to this, uh, to our fallen kind of comrade. So everybody from like France to Canada to Japan, all kind of different places start getting together and the president's like, all right, we gotta go over there. And Jar Butler and, um, the rest of the Secret Service are like, well, we don't have plans in place. We, this is really going to be a shit show, because we're not going to really have exit strategies, we're not going to have lines of sight, it's going to be really hard to come up with that kind of plan, you know, that has to be done. So, actually, that kind of helped them, because they were earlier and then arriving than anticipated, so when this concentrated terrorist attack happens, they are able to escape, whereas the rest of the world leaders are pretty much assassinated one by one. And it becomes a race against time to figure out how to get the president out before the terrorists take him and kill him. And then they're just kind of going through the streets. It's kind of an espionage kind of stuff. But it's really action. The action in this movie is pretty good. I mean, it's not on John Wick levels, but it's good in what it does. You get some good knock arounds that Gerard Butler throws against the uh, terrorists and arm dealers ways and the only problem is sometimes the action moves a little bit too fast and the camera's not able to catch it but that's about the only question with the action. The action is the main draw. This is a popcorn film that's kind of boilerplate plot line and you figure out as they're going through that this is the remnants of the arms dealer uh, family. Um, some of his son, one of his sons is like missing his legs and he's like the computer expert while the other one is like the head honcho in London at the point, at that point because the arms dealer guy is in some other village where he's safe like half a world away. So it's a race against time for the vice president and his staff to try and figure out a way to extract the president. Well, the president does eventually get captured, which leads to Gerard Butler just going one man army up against their hideout and gets there just in the nick of time before they're uh, going to try and live stream the assassination of the president. And he's like, well, I'm not going to say anything that I'm not going to say what you want me to say. And he's just like, oh, now the dude's just wailing on him and getting ready to chop his head off. But Gerard Butler comes in and saves the day, cowboy style. He's like, Booyah. Now, <laughs> his escape plan was kind of strange in that it was to blow up the whole place with, like, C4. He, like, radioed in for one dude. They're in a hallway. They're pretty much outnumbered now. And he's like, blow that button. And they fall into an elevator shaft, and they are protected and saved. And it's like, okay, yes, they wouldn't be completely crisped. But it's... Still pretty good. This is a movie to see if you're wanting for, like, action and everything. You don't really want to think about it. It's kind of a little bit turn your brain off. It's like, okay, simple plot, simple structure, go from point A to point B, and it's good. I mean, it keeps, 
it's almost like the first one in that it's just the action. That's what you're there for. You're there to see the plot unfold in kind of like A to B to C. It's it's really serviceable. It's a really good action movie. Um, not on level of John Wick, which I'm excited to see John Wick 2 when that eventually comes out. But um, I'd recommend seeing it if you're like into action movies. You just getting into the time where there's not that many movies out at the moment, so you're like, okay, this will work. Yeah. So... I'd recommend seeing it if you've gotten on the menu and you want to see a good action movie. So, um, like, subscribe, comment on the video, tell me what your thoughts are if you've seen it, or if you disagree with me, if you agree with me. Just tell me what you think, yes. And, uh, hope you have a good day.